What is going on YouTube? So today's video is something I think is gonna be really fun. That is the first ever inflatable fan boat. I don't actually know if this is the first inflatable fan boat, but let's be honest, everyone says that. I bet this is the first one you've ever seen, so point made. So if you've been following me recently, you would have known I've been messing around with some EDFs and some giant fans. In my previous video, I made kind of like an electric paramotor thing and hooked it up to the back of a bike. But in this video, we're gonna take that off and move it onto an inflatable boat. So if you wanna see how I made the electric fan, go check out the previous video. Uh, this is gonna be more focused on newer stuff. So real quick, before we mount this thing onto the boat, a lot of you guys in the previous video were asking just for some raw testing uh, just to see how fast this thing could go and also a lot of you commented that uh, I actually have the propeller on backwards 50 50 shot plus all the cool kids are having their propellers on backwards these days got the prop on the right way this time and uh, we're just gonna send it down the street real quick <laughs> So another thing we need to change from my last video is the way we control this. So previously I've been controlling all of my jet powered electric ducted fans with this servo tester right here. But this is a horrible way to control large stuff because when you're riding a massively powerful, unstable vehicle, it's horrible craftsmanship. <laughs> the last thing you're thinking about is tiny thumb movements to control the throttle. So what I did was I removed the potentiometer from this and attached a much larger sliding potentiometer. I can much more easily control the speed of whatever device I'm making. So now what we need to do is uh, create some sort of uh, handy little controller. Let's try some PVC. It's no big deal. I do that all the time. Just finished up the remote, which coincidentally looks like a stick of TNT. Not the intent though, I actually keep my TNT in the other room so we don't get those mixed up. But anyway, uh, we've got it working. Servo moves and back and I can just kind of position it like that. Uh, also, it snaps back by itself. Um, so I don't accidentally leave it on and fall out have it keep going off into the distance and make new friends and settle down and have a family and what am I saying? Point is, this works and it should work great with the fan boat which we have to build now, so let's do that. On the way to sort of get some supplies, it's a beautiful day out. Already tell, this is gonna be a good one. Not today. Maybe just a couple rolls. So yes, the plan is to use an inflatable air mattress for the base of the boat. Let's go ahead and blow this up to see uh, how we're gonna do this. This thing like really has to float. Like, I really don't wanna ruin the motor or the batteries because I already lost one battery. I'm so young, had so much energy. <laughs> Comes with an inflatable pump. Uh, what are the chances things already charged? Wait a minute. What the? Like a billion batteries to run this thing. Cool. I don't even know, what is this, double A's? English, por favor. You need C batteries? Who the hell has C batteries? Like if anything, you go D batteries. Like I bet almost none of you right now have C batteries. This is, go to the store. Life, by the way, but it looks like you're about perfect. I think this is gonna work. All right, that looks good to me. DIY fan boat complete. Like and subscribe if you like this video, and we'll see you in the next one. So I got a couple buckets that I think are gonna make a nice scoop to go on the front of the air mattress. And this way the front won't push down and water goes on top of it. Probably flex tape them together. And you know those boards I got? Psych, we're not using that. Threw you off, didn't I? Oh no, we're using this old screen door instead. Yeah, that's right, I'll buy random materials just to throw you off. This should provide a decent foundation. And uh, yeah, we can mount the motor to that, put a little seat on it, put the buckets on it. We got ourselves a boat. Ah, blow it.
Also, everyone keeps telling me that steering is a good idea to have in a boat. Why you gotta turn? You just go straight. That's how we do it in America. But whatever, it's probably a good idea. We'll add some of it in, I guess. Oh, yeah. Alright guys, the boat is finished. Let me just show you around a little bit. So we got the fan right there, obviously. Mounted to the screen door, half rotting, but that's okay. Um, then come over here, we've got the front part. The cut open buckets, bright orange. Think it adds a nice touch. We've got this very well crafted seat right here. Two sticks I just drilled in there. PVC footrest. Comes complete with this backrest right here. Uh, I just mounted the fan on with some of these uh, brackets. Hopefully those hold. Um, and there's a third point of contact down there. Just some PVC from the rudder system. Yeah, that's right, rudder system. Very advanced. Two pieces of string. You pull one way and the rudder turns and you pull the other way and the rudder turns again. As you can see, there's currently only one rudder on here. Very good reason for that and that is I was too lazy to put on a second. Ah. It's like an air bed right here. I mean, NASA have taken during this project. This whole thing that slides onto the air mattress. Let me show you that. Then we got uh, some string attached to the bottom of uh, our buckets, and those go under the mattress. Come around here to the back and uh, attach to this piece of cord right here. That'll cinch down like that, we'll tie that off. Hopefully that'll keep the mattress from slipping out under us. No Titanic happened today. Same with the other side, goes through here. Just like that. And uh, yeah, we can get on. Yeah, we got the throttle back there. Just kind of sit down and enjoy all oh, the suns of my eyes. So I think the last thing we need to do before we test this out, give it a quick uh, paint job. See, my thinking with painting is, uh, you know, anyone can paint good, right? Like, that's easy. But it takes a true artiste to paint something like this. Really stretch out like an eighth can of spray paint. Beautiful. All right, yeah. All right, yeah. rolling. Yeah. All right, uh, on location, just blow up this air mattress and uh, see if it works. Jake, dude. Dude. Dude, we're filming a video. Are we shooting? Yeah, dude. Sorry, I cut out for a minute there. All right, let's do this. The plan is to put this on the mattress first, uh, just to see if it actually works. All right. Moment of truth. Wait, do you think it'll work? Uh, uh? Yeah. yeah, dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I believe. It, oh, it works. German engineering, that's fine. This is <laughs> the next Audi. <laughs> this is how it's created. It's pretty stable, dude. Yeah, it looks, it's stable. It looks good. Let's get the fan going on, Let's get the fan going. The number one fan. Let's throw this fan on there, huh? It goes on. Like this. This may not work. <laughs> you don't. Are you doubting you? Dude, it just takes a little bit of finesse. There you go. There you go. How does this yeah, look? Yeah, this looks sick. Does it look pretty sick? I'm nervous. I'm not right. gonna lie. <laughs> you got this the is a lot of uh, A lot of things could go wrong. I got the captain's goggles on, though. <laughs> <laughs> She's in. Wish me luck, boys. Here we go. You want to push off? Uh, Woo! Alrighty, dude. Good in the luck. cockpit. Yeah, where's your seatbelt, dude? Dude, I forgot the seatbelt. <laughs> hey! Wait, wait, I need the runners. <laughs> the steering works. Really? Yeah, surprisingly, let's see if we can get back to the dock. Oh, here it comes. It's coming high. <laughs> this is kind of sick. And plus, you could take a nap if you ever tried yeah, exactly. Like... Oh my god.
What's wrong with it? <laughs> Go ahead, battery low. All right, I'm paddling. No. <laughs> Stranded Canadian man. <laughs> oh god, it's so gross over here. Okay, go right over there. Just get over there. I don't care about the weeds. <laughs> oh, I does not feel okay in my legs. I feel like there's something crawling up my leg. <laughs> How gross is it? <laughs> <It's so nasty. laughs> We're going on strike, dude. Unfair working conditions. <laughs> Boat video was a success. Got it taken apart. Last thing we need to do, jump in the water. We'll see you back at home. Back at the house and that pretty much concludes this video guys. Honestly, I'm amazed at how well that went. Like nothing sank. I didn't hurt myself. Nothing broke. It was an amazing day. Yeah, so there you go. Turns out you can turn a uh, $20 air mattress you get from Walmart into a, uh, a blow up fan boat. In case you're ever wondering that, uh, yeah. You're welcome. Um, and comment your ideas down below. Uh, what should I make next? Like crazy rideable gadgets. I've been doing a lot of those lately. It's summertime and I think they're a lot of fun. Also, you can get this uh, sweet merch at uh, jlaservideo.com. Yeah, I, I couldn't find my t-shirt. Another fun video done, inflatable fan boat. Hope you liked it. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh.